What is going on guys? Just very quickly before the video, a massive shout out to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. As you all know, we're working together with a load of other YouTubers on the World Cup Guide. Don't forget, links in the description to OneFootball, the app, and also the playlist to go and view all the other World Cup Guide videos that have been done by seven other YouTubers. Up tomorrow is Ellis from Away Days, who is going to be making a video on his channel. Again, links in the description. Enjoy the video, but don't forget to stay to the end as a little bit of an announcement kind of thing on the future of the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to another video on the channel. Notice I didn't say match day experience because today is not a match day experience. Today I'm off to the FBA's, the Football Blogging Awards, as I've been nominated for Young Blogger of the Year. But before we get into the video, the next clip is going to be for the One Football World Cup guide for my next country, which is Argentina. So enjoy. Speak in a second. So, cut to a different clip. This is now about three or four days later after the FBAs, um, but I'm here to do my preview for the One Football World Cup Guide Part 2 of 4. So, today is Argentina, so a video will be here or here, um, which is going to be showing details about Argentina's upcoming World Cup campaign and their chances. Well, not their chances, what I think that their chances are going to lie in this World Cup in Russia, which starts in literally. Two weeks now? Three weeks? Not long at all. Um, but we all know about Argentina and the... the uh, what's the word? How, what kind of country they are. How big they could be in this World Cup. However, they continue to fail to deliver on the international stage. And that's the one thing that um, is potentially stopping Lionel Messi becoming an Argentinian legend. I've seen some amazing clips um, and videos from Copper 90. Um, which I will leave a link to in the description below as well. Um, but they've done some fantastic videos on Argentina, especially during the upcoming, the previous qualifying campaign. Um, and as you can see from their results, which you would have seen probably just now, they drew, I think, three or four games in a row towards the end of their campaign, which nearly prevented them from even reaching the World Cup. Um, but a Lionel Messi masterclass in the final game gave them a 3-1 victory, which has sent them to Russia in third place in the end. But it was very, very touch and go at one point. Um, so, yeah, we all know what Argentina can do, but it's a case of will they do it. They've got some fantastic players who play all over the world and we know that can play to a, in a World Cup. Um, and lead them hopefully to World Cup glory. Obviously, they came so close last last year, last year four years ago, um, but run stuck against Germany in Brazil. So let me know in the comments what you think Argentina's chances are in this World Cup. Um, and in the in the next clip, I'm going to be going back to the FBAs. Um, but then, or, or in another link in the description, make sure you check out Ellis's video, which is going to be the next video on this World Cup guide. Obviously, 32 YouTubers, 32 video. Eight YouTubers, 32 videos, four countries per YouTuber. So up next is Ellis. Link in the description below. Go and check it out. Um, and make sure you stay to the end of the video to see a very important update on the future of this channel. Thanks a lot. So fast forward about four hours later and I finally arrived at Ali Pali in the background there. Gonna go for a walk, stretch my legs, and then go to get changed and head into the ceremony. So now suited and booted, six o'clock. The event starts in half an hour, but I'm kind of just sat in my car waiting around for things to happen. So I'm gonna go over there now, see if I can find anyone, I suppose. Looking forward to this. literally on the biggest hunt right now trying to find where I'm sat but we've got stickers I think I need 40 left to complete my book so might make some progress tonight but literally cannot find where I'm sat at all I think I just saw it. Seven, eight, ten. 
Best Young Football Blogger or Vlogger Award, according to the judges, goes to Match Day with Matt. Snack Gaming Best Gaming Football Content Creators Fan Award goes to Mini Minter. Just... Mini Minter. Well, he won't be here. Gaming Football Content Creators Judges Award goes to. One moment. I'm nervous. <laughs> Spencer FC! He won't be here either. I wasn't fixing that one. There's 19 different ways to lose a weight from home. We've just seen the 18th. It's cool. I'm not kidding you. Look at that Celtic State of Mind. Today is all in the drum bit. Today is all in the and that's what we're going to do for a match preview. The first day of the semi finals and the playoffs. We'd all hope to then come to the stage. You're listening to the West Ham. Well, the West Ham. Well, that's all that's all that's all all that's all all that's 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 all Dean from 442. Yeah. So, football video content credit goes to Copper 90. Channel and my blog this year have been, have been, have been the subscribers have, have, have been the people home and away fans that have let me, have, have let me uh, interview them. So I'm really grateful for that. But so uh, yeah, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty fun year. Now, what drove you to do to produce the sort of content that you do, rather than just say sit at home, play some FIFA, record that, put that out there? Well, I went on YouTube uh, after being interviewed on television. I went to go and uh, went on YouTube and search TV interview fan channels, football channels, and a lot of the people that I saw were quite opinionated and ranty. And at 11 years old, I thought I wanted to. 
So guys, there you have it. Unfortunately, I did not win an award at this year's Football Blogging Awards. But nonetheless, it was a fantastic evening. Met so many amazing YouTubers and creators, bloggers, vloggers, the lot. Um, it was a really, really good night. Spent most of it networking with different people. But yeah, I was just really, really pleased for the likes of Match Day with Max, especially for winning his award. It was massively thoroughly deserved. So a big shout out to him. I'm going to leave a link in the description um, because if you're going to check anyone out from the evening, it's got to be him. Um, links in the description, young Nottingham Forest fan who's destined to be the next Gary Lineker on match of the day, so make sure you go check that out. But, where do we lie with the channel now? What's going to happen next? Um, I don't know. I don't know what my plans are yet. Next season, as a lot of you know, I've lost a lot of weight this year. I've lost just over three stone in the last year. Um, and it's all been part of a master plan, if you like, to get back on the pitch. I've been playing five aside six aside, seven aside, and 11 aside for the last year and a half, all trying to get back to the level I was playing at a few years ago when I was playing at Bristol Rovers and Yate Town in the Southern League um, when I left their under-18 squad. Next season, I'm definitely not going to be playing anywhere near that level again, but I'm tr destined, destined, desperate to try and play at as high a level as possible next season. Um, I've got a few things lined up with a few clubs, hopefully in the Western League. So... For those of you who know football and have been watching my videos, you know what that means. That means I'm going to be potentially playing on Saturdays now. So, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be playing it very much by ear with the YouTube. What I don't want is to have one of those channels where I'm sort of fighting against, fighting fire if you like, where it's not doing what I want it to do and those kind of things. So I'm going to see how it goes. For the next six weeks, it's going to be totally normal till the complete end of the season. Um, I've got England against Nigeria and Croatia against Brazil coming up in a few weeks. They're going to be two good vlogs. And in addition to that, I've got um, the Kanifa World Cup final, which is going to be taking place, I think, at Enfield Town. Um, and then, yeah, it's the summer. So we're going to be enjoying the summer. Might do a couple of travel vlogs again like last year. And then we'll see where we, we get, where it takes me from there. Um, but I'll hopefully keep the channel going for as long as possible. And even when I'm playing football again... Hopefully it's a case of playing on Saturdays, going to games for the channel on Fridays or Tuesdays or whatever. Um, so I'm going to be trying and working really hard to try and maintain both of them really. Um, but for next season, playing football again is going to be my main priority. But I'll keep you all updated as to where I'm playing hopefully. And you never know, we could draw in some big crowds in the Western League from you guys. So yeah, massive thank you for watching. A massive thank you for watching all of my videos. And please don't think that this is a goodbye video because it's not. It's just things might change next season. So keep your eyes out. Follow me on Twitter in the links below. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. If we could hit 100 likes on this video, that'd be fantastic. And I will see you in a couple of weeks' time, if not before, for England against Nigeria. Take care. Bye.